Hello guys and welcome to Let's Build a Castle Part 11. In the last episode I mentioned that the next set of episodes were going to be some grand builds and this is no exception. But quickly as we walk through here you can just see some of the off camera details I've been putting into this castle in my time away in previously unseen parts of the castle. But today what we are focusing on is this huge building you can see protruding out of the back of the castle. I've really tried to vary up the style with this nice stone balcony you can see. And there's the different layers of the windows and the, you know, the struts. And I feel it works incredibly well and varies up a little bit from the rest of the castle. While keeping those core details using the same materials and the same patterns from throughout. So guys we might as well begin. As we open up here, again, you can see this pure template. These are the templates I've been working on as, you know, in the episodes prior. But what this thing also is going to be is I feel just kind of a multi-purpose kind of building. And the big towers you can see that hold up that building at the top, the ones we're building now, I feel these could be some sort of bedrooms or that kind of thing. Whereas the top is kind of an open space, almost like a function room, and I'll get to that later. So, as you can see, just using those primary details, and I didn't really want windows on this side, again, because there are so many windows in the castle, I just wanted to vary up the style a tiny bit, but not too much to ensure you know the continuity is still kept so I tried to work with a design that didn't need windows and I feel the simple one kind of works incredibly well and obviously symmetry is very important so I replicated it onto the other side and now start working on that arch so something else though with this build I, I have to mention is the way, where it's positioned so you notice it sticks right out the back of the castle and I'm in two minds about this because where it situates is I'm not sure whether actually off camera I might move this entire building obviously I have access to world edit so that won't be a big problem for me but I don't know whether it's actually in the wrong place in the castle at the minute so I'm going to debate that over the next couple of episodes and maybe try and put it in a couple of other places to see where it works but for now, we have finished that front facing detail, I've replicated it onto the other side, and the windows here I didn't show you because of the exact same style as the windows up there that we've seen many times in previous episodes, so I've just replicated that detail. However, on the inside, I've kind of varied it up a little bit more. We've got big windows on the outside, but on the inside, I kind of still wanted some detail and not just plain walls. So, I kind of situated and tried to design some little windows, something that's a bit scarce really in this castle. We have a couple of them on top of the, on top of the throne room that we built in the earlier episodes, but actually now, I kind of wanted some little, more little practical windows, so I just start, does it, like basically I looked at the big ones and thought, well what would a little version of this look like, and that's basically what I did, using the same style but on a much, much smaller scale, and I feel, once those are replicated down there, they look incredibly nice, and just add that little bit of detail to that main arch, which we have now finished, we put on that huge roof, and now we start building that little balcony, the balcony is less practical and more decorative, because Really, it's only one wide. Like, there's only going to be a you know a one block little thing where you can walk. But so it's still possible to use. But really, it's just a very that detail. And I like the idea that the stone frame set on the outside of the windows and it gives that bit of room. So just using the same styles. I didn't show you those beams again because we built those in the first, one of the first episodes when we built the throne room slash hall. So now we're working on that big side window and I feel this room that works incredibly well because it's so high up and it's not near really the rest of the castle and the way the sun rises and sets on this map is the sun shines right through those big windows and I feel it lights it up incredibly so that's something that I felt was very important for this top bit was nice big windows to keep it well lit obviously candlelight can help but I kind of wanted it to be pure daylight so it's building up these huge windows and I feel just again using those same styles and I especially like the, the extra detail detail of shadows because we're obviously using a shaders pack here the actual shadows when we use the stone walls to outline different walls and things I feel the shadows they present just are often add that extra bit of detail that just you know kind of makes a building so as you can see now because we've got that you know that balcony I mentioned earlier it's a few layers out so I'm just gonna kind of fill the gap and just use the materials that we've been building with previously to fill that gap and just make it look quite presentable and obviously this is so high up you probably won't even notice it if you were in single player but however I still like to know that all the detail I could possibly put in has been really so now we're just finishing off that balcony putting in doors on the other side just so you can access 
access it and uh, just you know try and just make it as uh, as functional as possible as well as decorative because I feel that's something that's been incredibly important throughout this series. So I add in one more post because I feel that sort of bit exposed there and I feel that works incredibly well. However, I tried to add a little thing over the doors and because it's so narrow that balcony, I don't think it works really. So in a moment, once we finish putting these extra details on here, I actually just remove that and just feel it works incredibly well. So as you can see, it is functional that walkway. However, I do, it's more decorative. Then we finish off with these extra little candle details on the outside. And now finally, what we have to work on is the bridge. To, to, so we can access it really so I kind of work on a simple design here because it's so narrow I haven't really got a lot of room to put a big grand scale bridge design in from like the very first episodes that because we built a bridge ages ago and that looked incredible and big and impressive however just because we've got such a small gap here a little three block wide gap I kind of found it very difficult so I actually just made a little design there and actually that brings us to the end of this episode. As you can see, this bit, this is the function room type thing I expect. And what I see that could be as being is maybe some sort of military kind of, you know, tactics where they have a huge, I could lay out a massive table in there and all sorts of decisions could be made. A large council, anything along those lines is kind of what I expect that room to be used for. And then we have all the bedrooms that just line in those two columns either side. And I just feel that works incredibly well. And guys, Thank you, that brings us to the very end, and thank you very much for watching this episode, and in the next episode, we start working on the Great Hall. I look forward to seeing you, and goodbye!